So today I have a Swiss ball, and one of the things I like to do in the gym is do a variety of different movements, and we're going to really focus on the core today, but I'm going to give you a couple of tips here that I think you can interject into your current workouts. But I'm going to start out really simple today. And all I want you to do here is just think about how am I going to warm up? So I just take the ball and I just reach up overhead. So I'm just kind of loosening up my back and my hips. And I'll just do this for, you know, 15 to 30 seconds. It just adds a little more dynamic to it than just doing the same old, same old. And then I'm going to twist. So all I'm going to do is going to look in the direction I'm twisting, stretching out my back, letting my heels come up. And it, sometimes I'll just go across my body and I'll do a few of these to loosen up my back. And then I'll go the other direction. So I'm just coming up, driving that hip up. And then real simply, I'm just do a couple lower body exercises. And the first one is just a basic squat. I'm going to turn my toes slightly out. My weight's distributed in the middle part of my foot. And all I do is I'm going to counterbalance here. So I'm going to stick the ball out. I'm going to get as low as I can. And then I just come all the way up into full extension. Stick the ball out, kind of pause at the bottom, back up, full extension. So again, this is good for my back. It's good for my legs. Back up. One more time. And then from here, I'm going to go right to my back. And I'm going to look, work on my hips and my hamstrings. So all I'm going to do right now, I'm going to start out with a... Just a hip extension, so I'm in the, putting the base of my feet or the ball of feet on the ball, and all I do is I elevate up. So this really bites your hamstrings, your glutes, and the goal is to get as high as you can. Then from here, I'm going to straighten my legs right out. I'm going to take my feet, and I'm going to try to engage them together, so my feet are together, my inner thighs are together. I'm going to elevate my hips up into a simple hamstring curl. So again, my adductors are getting engaged because I'm driving my legs together. And then from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up my lower back, so I'm going to spread my feet apart a little bit. My arms are out to the side. And then nice and easy between sets, so if you're doing multiple sets here, I'm just loosening up my back. So this is actually feels really good. So again, real simple hip extensions, leg curls, and then I was loosening up my back. All right, from here, we're going to go right into your core. So all I'm going to do is take this ball, and I'm going to put my feet against the wall. And I like this exercise because it's very safe. But again, it can really engage. The, the higher my legs go up the wall, the harder it gets. So my toes are on the floor. My legs are pretty straight. So now my hamstrings, the back of my legs, my glutes are engaged. And all I'm going to do is tuck my chin and come up and fold my back in half. So this is a great back exercise. Just a back extension. If I want to add a twist, I can get up here and twist. And then I can go round and come back up and add the twist. If I want to get my arms engaged a little bit more, I'm going to bring my arms straight out in front, reaching out. So again, my legs still are engaged. And I can also do some single arms. Great for your back. Now, in between sets... This is an easy way for you to kind of loosen up your back, but I'm going to walk my hands out. This is great for your shoulders and my back, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my knees in, stretches out my back, and I'm going to go all the way back into extension and loosen up my shoulders and my back. So between sets of the back extension, I'm adding a little bit of this, and if you want to add a little bit more, I can actually add a twist, really stretching out my lower back, and then from there, we're going to go to the front side. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay on my back. And the benefit of Swiss ball doing kind of your core is it allows you to get into more extension. So that, that allows me to get lower and really engage in these core muscles. And all I'm going to do is just a basic crunch, come all the way up, pause, and really stretch out going down. So again, instead of being in a hurry, we're just going up, full movement, back down, and then from here is the crossover. I just take my arms overhead, and I come up and I touch and go back. And you hear Matt talk about this, you hear Tab talk about this, but we're trying to perfect the ordinary, so I'm not going to quickly. I'm really trying to have quality reps here. These are great for your core and super safe. 
All right, home stretch here. So I want to add a little bit more challenge to the core movements here. And the first one I'm going to do is called a pike. Now, if you're just beginning, you could do, again, kind of what we did earlier. I'm going to put my thighs on the ball, and I'm just going to come up, and I'll just come back. So again, that could be your first step. But if I'm ready to get a little bit more involved here, a little more challenging here, I'm going to go all the way out. And I'm going to put my toes on the ball now. And in a perfect posture position, a perfect push-up position, I'm going to go into a pike. And I'm going to go back into extension. So now this is really engaging my core. And then from there, we're going to get a little crazy here. But I'm going to take the foot off the ball. And I'm going to add a little rotation. So I can go back and forth. And these are really challenging. So again, just some... A variety of different movements I think you'll love on the Swiss ball. Give it a try. Remember, you have the power to feel your best. We'll see you next time.